You know, a true musician's really hard to find, but you know when you hear that one person play their instrument out somewhere and you think, it's just a matter of time before they get a break. Well, that's what people in Ashboro say about Trent Calicut when he plays his banjo. I caught up with him today, fresh off the heels of playing the Grand Old Opry. Take a look. All the way from Ashboro, North Carolina, making his debut is Trent Calicut. Right there. Hey Trent, thanks for being with us today. Man, this is, I mean, so my sister tried to play the banjo a long time ago. It is not an easy instrument to play. How did you get started with this? Well, um, I was 12 years old and I was playing baseball at the time and I got interested in music through my pawpaw. That was my mom's dad. And uh, I just thought, man, that would, be, that would be a whole lot funner than playing ball. And um, so anyway, I didn't make the, didn't make the little league team, so I, my, I told my parents, if I don't make that, I want to go get some banjo lessons. And sure enough, that's what I did. I started when I was 12 years old uh, in June of 2001. Then you've been playing a long time. Obviously, you're very good because this news of you playing the Opry is huge. Tell me what you felt like when you first got that call. Well, I'd always wanted to play uh, the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, for my family, we've always uh, listened and watched the Opry, and um, man, I just, I couldn't believe it. Um, it just really took me off guard, and when Darren shot me a message and said, hey man, are you busy Saturday? And I told him, I said, well, you know, my wife and I had just moved in to our new home we've, we've had built, and um, he said, well, I was wanting to see if you could play the Opry. I said, well, I think I can change my plans for that. So <laughs> it just, it floored me. It really did. So he, uh, yeah. <laughs> jam into the music. He can play. Can yeah, he? that yes, was really good. impressive. All right, so the next half hour, we're going to get more personal with Trent because mm -hmm. his relationship with his grandfather is what started him on music, and he said that was kind of their bonding thing. Um, and the grandfather, he didn't live long enough to see him play the Opry. Wow. So, but he used his grandfather and what he thought about his grandfather being there with him as inspiration to calm him down. It's really an interesting story, so that's coming up in a little bit. Chad, can you play a banjo like that? Uh, no, I can't, but Let's I check. do enjoy listening to a banjo. <laughs> Joe, and boy, would Me I enjoy too. listening to it at the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, that's such a cool experience. Yeah. And I love that they gave Ashboro a shout out there too. I think that's so cool about this story is like the banjo, you know, when you hear about kids learning how to play piano or maybe like the violin, but you don't really hear about the it's banjo. True. And so that's, I'm looking forward to see the next part of your story to see how he was inspired by his grandfather. Yeah, they were extremely close and he allowed us to kind of get personal and talk about mm -hmm. that relationship. So it's, a, it's a, a good thing, a good thing. And of course, we'll have that coming up in just a little bit. Stick around.